As Epic, we strongly believe that the smartphone, or what it becomes in the future, will be the most life-changing advance in technology since the arrival of the PC. We are convinced it will have a profound effect on our lives, and, but we are naturally uncertain about exactly what this will look and feel like. As more and more people begin to carry these devices, and as we, as learning and development professionals, begin to develop more content for them, and as we all, as learners, continue to evolve, Will this lead to new kinds of pedagogical approaches? Or will the smartphone, as it develops technologically, mould us, the learners, and so the learning and development professionals? We're a society characterised by mobility and connectedness. Smartphones may be the currently the platform for that, but actually in terms of delivering learning, it's the people and the pedagogy that are the significant and major issue. A society which is mobile, which is full of channels for the distribution of a change occurring anywhere, must see to it that its members are educated to personal initiative and adaptability. That quote came from the great philosopher and educational reformer John Dewey, and it was written in 1916. So the pedagogy of mobile learning isn't new. The pace of change such that in 1999 there were approximately 500 million cell phones in use, yet this year, in 2010, there will be 5 billion. If you try and use a mobile phone to write up a thesis or a very long essay, you'll find that actually that is the wrong tool for that job. Inquiry learning needs tools to probe the natural environment, to collect and share data, to visualise and reflect. Some plumbers occasionally say to me their smartphone is more important than their spanner and when a smartphone overtakes the role of a spanner for a plumber or maybe other tools in other uh, skills environment we've got to think very seriously about this. One of the vets there was saying the trouble when I go out with some students in the car is that they sit there and they play with their mobile phones they're texting and I think that's very rude and actually I feel like just shoving them out the door. Now that's an interesting transition isn't it between actually what that student could be doing is taking a note they could be doing something educational. But education and learning ha have engaged with technology, not just with mobile technology, but with maybe desktop technology in a way that's been quite serendipitous. So the technology to realise a century of dreams about a new pedagogy is a smartphone. <laughs>